All right. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. On this episode, we have our good friend of the show, Tracy Carnazzo. She's back. We dust, we discuss ignoring red flags, staying in abusive relationships, finally breaking up the cycle, body positivity, and um, make sure you all sign up for the Patreon. Please support yeah. us on the Patreon. We need you. Um, we can't keep this doing, keep doing this without your help. Yeah, it's um, an amazing time. Tracy is always super fun and always. Uh Always delightfully crazy. We love Tracy Carnazzo, and she tells us about the abusive relationship. And then we talk a little bit about, Dante, what's going on with your personal life as well. Yeah. All that on the show, and then we go into super detail on the Patreon. So patreon.com slash manschool202 uh, if you want the bonus stuff. And it helps us keep doing the show. So. You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. You need medicine. It don't yeah. always taste good. You ready to go. But if it gets you better, you, 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 you good. need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna but, always taste uh, good. But this is what you gave need. Up very quickly. Men and women. On the I'm 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 I was like, like yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe oh, not. Man. I need to tell you that. to give up control. But only if you know how to drive. Yeah. This is Run. about being the best you you could ever be. Whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I like your new character, I'll Sleepy care. DJ. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, hey. you don't have to listen to me. Just, uh, <laughs> oh. throw your hands in there. <laughs> oh. Shake them like you just don't. Wave them like you just don't care. care. Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you! I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm yeah. just a better man. Better yeah. Man. I'm ready to Put go. Put your hey. happiness you first. Yeah. Because if you don't, Absolutely. they won't. Ah, GYBB gets your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. I almost sounded like a radio DJ when I did. Nice. Like morning radio. I was like, let me cut this. Check it out one time. Good morning to all. And uh, sound like a dickhead. No, that's anyway. fine. They, they have some enthusiasm. Yeah. Fuck those guys. You do those hot 97 commercials again. Yeah, yeah. I could. I could. When, uh, Two for five. When I'm Frozen not, peas. yo. When I'm not taking my clothes off, I'm keeping my radio on. Hot 97, Kiss FM. Uh, that was my that was my bump. Anyway, bump. Right. how you doing? How you I'm ready to rock great, and roll? Man, yeah, man we got a special guest. This, this is my girl. This is this is so appropriate. Is uh, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we didn't introduce you yet. Shut up. Uh, you ready to rock and roll, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Why are you making faces? You don't like the sound or what? It's too loud. It's too loud. I'm lowering it. That's all right. Oh, all right. No, don't, don't you touch my music oh, again. That's all right. It's just an <laughs> audio medium. It's fine. Nah, fuck that. Um, <laughs> you ready, Rock? Let's get yeah, our man. girl in here. Uh, this young lady's been on the show and a uh, friend of the show and friend of mine and just dope. Um, and uh, I feel Always like the show has helped here. her, too. Yeah. I feel like the show has helped her. So we wanted to have her back and kick. I don't even know if you knew that when you booked her. That what? That, that she's been going through a whole lot of shit. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Right, I saw her bad. for f- I saw her for thirty seconds. Oh, so she, she told you the she, whole story. Tracy <laughs> clued me in on everything that went Let, down. Let's introduce the Give It Up for for Tracy Carnazzo, yo. Thank you so much. Everyone's clapping. Yeah, this oh, is that's digital so claps in here. This is a this is a high sedity. Uh, I mean, other than the hole in the roof, other than oh, that, we're good. I like it. Yeah. Uh... How you doing, baby? It's good good to see you. I am so good. I'm glad. I'm happy. Mm. And I'm I'm just happy to see you both. That's the two most handsome men in comedy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you went too far then. No, I I am I'm being honest. Yeah. Oh, the most? You, yeah. The most? I mean, it's not a high bar. Some of these people. Who 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 do you think that I could say is better looking than either of you? Honestly. In comedy. I'll Very go with specifically. It. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Let's see. Go ahead. I'm, I'm here. I'm waiting people? for it. Broussard's pretty good. Matthew Broussard is pretty handsome. Not my type. You don't think he's handsome? Not my type. I mean, that- he's a fucking regular white dude. Yes. Not my she type. Has some features, my friend. Those are good features. No, he got a little clay face going on. All right. Oh, interesting. Interesting. He's a good looking guy. No, he's, but I- he's extremely handsome, but that's like not my thing. Okay. Right. 
Uh, Tracy's eyes were the most handsome. White Macy's model is not my thing. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Why am I trying to argue with you? Yeah, yeah. I'll take it. All right, I'll fine. take it. Yeah. We'll I take need, it. I need a little bit more. Uh, I'll take it. The most ethical, handsome. Uh, you know, like I don't know, just ethical or ethnical. What do you mean, ethical? Ethnical. 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 Uh, ambiguity. I was trying to use too many big words. Ambiguity, you just do them yeah. all ethnic, together. Yeah. Ethnic ambiguity is what you're going for. Yeah. You want? Let's I'm right ethical. up the alley. You want a little brown in your and coffee? Ethical. You know what I'm yeah. saying? No, I want to do ethical. Yeah. Uh, ambiguity. Ethnic, ambiguity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's not even a word. <laughs> How to wrap uh, it up. Whatever. You like a little color. That's yeah. what you, you say. A little bit. I mean, nice. just, you know. Nice. Yeah, I mean, come on. What good is the world black and white? Right. No, I don't like it. That's why I don't understand these, like, uh, like when people are super racist. Like, even, like, you, you hate all Mexicans? Like, Did even you Selma see Hayek? Selma Hayek, son? You don't you want know, none of that? Selma Hayek? Really? You're like, nah, I Send don't want those. Send them all back? I don't want those. Put, in, put Selma Hayek in a cage? Come on now, nah, stop. I can't have all those curves. I want my women as flat as, as the, flat as the, the plains dog. of Kansas. Jesus. The way the Lord Jesus Christ intended it. There's corn none everywhere this, you can see. These bumps and round. Oh, no, God. Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> anyway. But, uh, oh, Tracy, last. All right, enough. so I saw Tracy, like I said, for 30 seconds. Yeah. We and caught up a little bit. For me, very quickly, that uh, uh, I guess she's no longer I'm with free. her. She's a free agent. Yeah. Well, agent. Tracy's Here's on the, the market. Thing. For Harry, Harry's in love. Yeah. Got his girl. No, I know. So we don't really talk as much as we used to. Oh, shit. Wait, Is she coming in not, between you guys? No. No. She doesn't come in between okay. us. But. Yeah. Uh huh. Occupying too much he, of his time? No, no. I think he's doing what he's supposed yeah. to do. He's this lady. She, she he wonderful. cares her, but she's wonderful. Yeah. He loves her. I and do. So uh, what I'm, well, I guess what I'm saying is we just don't have hours and hours of idle time like we used right. to. That's not true, though. That's, so Dante used to be your girlfriend, and now you have an no, actual girlfriend. No, I don't think that's true. Yeah, that's true. I don't true. think that's true. Were you guys no. in like a partnership? If you're with your, if yeah. you're with your, this, Harry's my life partner. Yeah, we we go insane. antiquing sometimes. We used to, <laughs> not anymore. Um, Harry, you don't realize that we have less. We talk. We less. have talked less, but I think that was other things going on on your end. No, thought, wasn't on my end. No, no. When I call you and you with your yeah. chick, I I make a couple of jokes, bing, right. bing, yeah, bing, yeah. bing, and then I'm out. You pretend like you guys aren't together. You have to play it cool when you call him. Well, I don't want her to get jealous. Right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, he's like, hey, I mean, Dante. Uh, if he's with I'm, his, I'm, like, I'm how with rude is it that you, you know, you yeah, with your yeah. girl, you're spending time with your girl, and then you're fucking on the phone with me? Well, sure, I'm fucking entertaining that, as fuck. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, you know, we don't prolong it. Sure. Like, no, no, yeah. if I know you with your girl, like, this is not a fuck on you. Right, 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 you know right, what I mean? Right. This yeah. is just. It feels like it is, though. I'm, yeah. You think so? <laughs> From Tracy, you're an impartial observer. Uh, I feel How like much ethnic beauty. Do you think is uh, <laughs> this is not ethical? I'll tell you that not much. Not ethical or no, okay. or ethnic. No. Either way, I'm or ambiguity. To... <laughs> you need to leave all those words alone. <laughs> I graduated college with a 4.0. No one's gonna believe me after that intro, no. but yeah, <laughs> it's true. I think listen, because yeah. you knew you saw the syllabus, you did yeah, what it said. I did. You got Which college out. though? Staten Island State. Where, where did you go? Staten Island uh, Community. <laughs> community. Technical. State. Relax. Staten Island Community. S-I technical. Community. I got my uh, my certificate in uh, nurses' aides, aides, aide. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, You're just allowed yeah. to handle the post-it notes, yes. the neon post-it notes. I just That's I it. wipe I wipe things. They sent her in to tell people, listen, you're gonna calm down, otherwise we call in yeah. the cops. Or That's, <laughs> That's her specialty. <laughs> that is my specialty. So, it's too but, loud out here. Tracy comes out. Harry is yeah. He spent time with it. So I, if he spent it, like we would mm. be on the fucking phone aimlessly, right. just driving around, right. sure, yeah, smashing yeah, yeah. people. Ooh. You know, just. Hey, Just baby. shitting on people. We and do, yeah. What are you doing? Looking at fat asses as we yeah, go, yeah. oh, what the fuck? Was now you're you not know? allowed to look at any yeah. asses. Well, no, I am. Yeah. You're allowed to look. We look together. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah. That. I got one that looks together. The key is getting one that looks together. I like that. That's what you got to do. I'll always take Now, you'll have to lose a couple when you look and they go, I don't want you looking at that. I yeah. go, well, this has been swell. It's been yeah. well. It's, it's been, been swell. swell. I, I never use swell you ever. Here's your hat. What's your hurry? Wow. Is my like, dad here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I thought he was dead, but... But, uh, 
<laughs> or you know, I I mean, I, I know guys that uh, get Harry's scared when they, 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 they get caught <laughs> looking at <laughs> pornography. Why they want to hit you? Stop trying to hit Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> just Tracy, though. I don't know what it is about her. It yeah, just, just makes me want to put my hands on her. Oh wow, you and everyone her else. A uh... <laughs> oh Jesus, yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll get to Oops. that. <laughs> My bad. Oh, God, I'm so triggered. Uh, Spoiler alert. It's hard because Tracy is is never triggered, but triggered at the same time. Yeah. Right. Well, Thank yeah. you. That's a very... I like how you describe me constantly. Yeah. Uh, it's it's either extreme, both extreme. Tracy's one of my favorite people in comedy. And it also really your really? host. <laughs> and I'll... Uh, no, no, not at all. Okay. I, I fear you somewhat, but in yeah. a loving way. No, no I, I love Tracy. Tracy's, Tracy's like my 27th favorite person. <laughs> Thank you. It's not bad. There's it. a lot of people. There's, There's a, a lot, lot of people, people in people. comedy. A lot of people. And most of them <laughs> stink and it. suck. Let's 27 is pretty That's high pretty on the high list. High if, that on was, if that was a vulture list. I know hundreds of I'll take 27. Yeah. 27 is pretty good, actually. I like that. Thank 27 you. On who's above me? Besides Harry, Avi. I'm on there. Harry's 28. I'm on there a couple times. I was 27 until my chick got into the picture, yeah. apparently. <laughs> and you started cheating on me. Whatever. Um, um, no, but we don't. We used to endlessly fucking just... We could still do that. I think the hours are a little different on what's going on, well, I think. Well, I mean, yeah, we're yeah. both trying to, we're, we're trying to do better for the show, yeah, for yeah, the yeah. thing. It's, it's a more work. Yeah, and I got We usually the... let this train run on its own. Yeah, like, yeah. just run, and trying. we're trying to right. be more... You know, well, we want to make some money. We got a good product here. Yeah, yeah. it's a really one good of the product. best shows in the biz. True story. We got a lot of people handing out frivolous relationship mm. advice out there. Just people who barely got pubes on their nuts. Shout out to out. Yamanika. Oh Jesus! <laughs> you know, I wasn't gonna That's, mention me. Yeah, I, yeah. I love Yamanika too. Yeah, like, what but you need I to do? He's a narcissist. That's my favorite clip. Oh. I love Yamanika. I would not, I will say this, I would not take relationship advice from Yamanika. No. But I love her as a comedian and as a friend. But if, uh, steer clear of the relationship advice, that's not that's not in her wheelhouse. It's, you know, it's really. like eating the fish at a diner where well, there's no ocean. Oh, dear. Yamanika. You know? a, a landlocked diner. Don't order love, catfish. Love Yamanika, but Yamanika, Yamanika was a virgin until she was like 26. Yeah. And so all that preliminary, and this is so true. That preliminary banter yeah. that kids have, you my girlfriend, check right. yes, check no, your first little crush, or if you don't have that stuff, you you don't you can't go from A to Z sure. in relations. You gotta go you gotta go from A to Z. If you don't have elemental PO Right. When you get to Z and you're in a relationship Right, that's your, butt stuff, right? Your boy, well, that's, yeah, 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 could be. Yeah. That's, that's the what say. I'm quite that's sure the she's there with that. That's not the point. <laughs> yeah, but the, it's Wait, you Yamanika? go back and you go, yeah, you uh, go back and you go. Where's your element of PO? Right, and then you go. If you're I, a virgin I didn't, at 26. You got to make up for lost time. You sure. better be in a butt stuff. Uh, yeah, you got on. You got to go all in. Yeah, you, you don't got the one. You don't got a decade to experiment. Cleveland steamer, you gotta, everything. Okay. You know, okay. you got to go. With I don't think I have my LMNO PO today. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, but just you know, you just you learn, you live and learn. Um, Tracy's a fan of the show because I, whenever yeah. I talk to Tracy, I, it's just. While she's talking, I just feel like in my mind I picture the end of the world, like just no, flames right. and, and dramatic tri tidal waves, just a lot. And she's like, "No, but I'm fine." And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "I am, I am. Uh, my world is constantly on fire." Yeah, and I'm just sitting very, very calmly. Very calmly. Calm. She would happens. be playing a fiddle as Rome Byrne. She would be yes. Nero. She, she would, would listen be... to. Uh, Elevator music while wow. just to, yes. not really playing a fiddle, but just maybe some Kenny G. Mm. Kenny Ooh, G is yeah. the world. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's an exact uh, song from Kenny G. That's yeah. very good. Thank yeah, you. thank you. That's the one. That's gonna <laughs> so, be the one. So yeah. So because last time we spoke with Tracy, yeah. she was in. I remember. I don't. This might not have been the first time I it hung was out with in Tracy. my house. The the first time I I don't know if this is the first time but I do remember it was a comp, some company holiday party we were oh we had a, a good of. time yeah. Oh, yeah that was uh and the, Tracy the spent gas. the night showing everybody at the gas digital holiday party mm. which was really fun uh, showing everybody a video a cell phone video the ring cam video of her then boyfriend yeah. uh, approaching the door and I guess maybe hearing Tracy or just before he goes into the door puts the gun no the, I wasn't the home. Finger guns. <laughs> I wasn't even you home. That was home? that was while we were at the party. Right. He came home. I uh, assumed right. you were home, though. Uh, I guess. I guess yeah. he thought I was. So be home. he was preparing to go into the apartment. I guess he was so not wanting to so go right. into the apartment. So he to go yeah. in. He just did the finger guns to the temple of the, his head. He did. 
you know, blew his <laughs> and brains And he looked out. directly into the ring camera. And, I mean, honestly, you could have gone to your mom's. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was your other option. You could have gone to your mother's house. Yeah, but we don't want to do the, they don't want to hang out with that bitch. Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> so, I don't blame him. So, yeah, but it, it's, uh, um, so... Tracy was in this thing and it's a very and toxic relationship. Very toxic, very, toxic, very unhappy, very unfulfilling. Yeah. Um, and yet you wouldn't leave. Okay, but this is what I was thinking yeah. about. So I parked a few blocks away okay. and I got to walk, right? It's a very sunny, beautiful day out now. And I was like It's actually raining and it's pouring, it, but all right, whatever. <laughs> to me it's sunny. <laughs> in <laughs> it's your sunny. world. It hides I, haven't the tears. Seen, <laughs> I haven't seen anything. Um and I was walking and I was thinking like when I was in the middle of it, yeah, I was like, "This is this is cool, right? This is okay." You know? <laughs> what about all the times we literally said, "This is not cool, Tracy. You need to." Not and I was do like, this. "I don't know. I don't think they get the whole picture." Yeah. <laughs> like, because sometimes he gives me nice hugs, and they sometimes. don't see that. They don't see the good stuff. They don't see the good stuff. They right? don't see the time he loaded the dishwasher. <laughs> like I had the a black eye. He, he got me ice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Come the on. one time. The way, yeah. The time. Yeah. He. He. he uh, you know. He did. He. He brought me to the hospital after my injury. No, I'm kidding. Uh, he would never. Do that <laughs> he would yeah. never take it out. <laughs> not that me, he wouldn't he would let me bleed out yeah. um yeah no i i didn't see it when i was in it what was the thing that made you not see it uh trying to make it work i because i felt like it would be my failure if it didn't work okay so where does that come from where does uh, that thing it's, 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 mental it's, uh yeah but is your mom that way or no yeah i guess i always just wanted to make my mom proud right so Does it's like she, is she like Let's, we'll just make, we'll have cake. Cake and coffee. Yeah. yeah. Like Del- a, delusion? Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. be okay. So Denial? Delusion? Yes. You thought you'd make your Italian mom proud by dating an abusive black man? No. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm so confused. Is that not good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem. I'm not... just saying from an Italian perspective, I'm sure your mom was not. No, the race was not the. And, and here's the thing. She won it's races like... going in? No. No? no? Oh, all. good for you. The Lucky race you. is never, never the problem. Never the issue. Good. It's never the That's problem. Great. It's It's yeah, wonderful. It's the personality. Oh, the personality yeah. was certainly yeah. I mean that. Yeah, that's the, the lack. Way it, the lack thereof. Let's be honest. Those be. blacks have a awful personality. So <laughs> <laughs> the black. I'm not allowed to say that. And they don't even know how to roll one uh, eggplant roll a teeny. What are you going to do? They can't do yeah, it. I had it's to make not in all by myself. It's the attitude. It's you not know? in the genes. The muscles are too big for the rolling the eggplant it's rolling. It's the hamstrings are too big. All the muscles are the in the hamstrings. The big black and the quick, bucks the quick with the big black, the fast twitch. The fast twitch How are you going to have a personality like that? You want touchdowns or you want personality? That's yeah. true. Anyway. He, had, he had none of them. But. He had neither. <laughs> or t- and that's the thing. It's like, you know, I... I tried to weigh my options right okay. and i was like all right so let's make the list you know you make the list the good and the bad yeah. uh-huh. uh how was that good no it, nothing there was nothing, nothing on it nothing there, on and then it. people are like okay all right think about in the beginning it was good in the beginning right i'm like oh no no it wasn't so good it wasn't so good in the beginning <laughs> and they were like all right uh you're super attracted to him i was like no nope nope no, nothing no, no, no. uh and then i was like oh shit i think he's the worst at everything and that made me sad. <laughs> that then at that point, and then you were like, because like, I'm re- the worst at something. Then you were like, I really got to work at everything. Right, I, I got to fix this. I am. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> let me try to uh, bang my head up against the wall for a few more years. I already gave it four mm. years. This Fuck was it. this was you. Fi- you made this realization that he was the worst at everything. How long ago? Uh, probably three months in. Three months into the relationship. <laughs> how long did the relationship go? Uh, four, uh, four years and. Uh, Mm, five, two, years, two, five, five years. Five years. Two presidential administrations. Yes. She was like, you know, I need a new laptop. Yeah. I got a calculator, two pencils, yeah. and some gum. <laughs> yeah. What can I do with this? Yeah. I think Just I can make trying. a. I think I can make a MacBook with this. Yeah. No. I couldn't get on the internet. <laughs> I mean, the the interesting thing about Tracy is very smart. Yeah. She's very intelligent. She even broke this down. So it's not even like. We're breaking her down, going, Tracy, yeah. you yeah. deserve better. She's like, I know. I'm self aware. I'm, I'm self aware. Very aware. I definitely deserve better. Yeah. Now, but well, not willing see. to pull a trigger. Not willing to pull okay, the trigger. Okay, but now. I and will you see this. And when you see an Italian that doesn't win, was not willing to pull a trigger, am I right? Yeah. Hey, oh, okay. Boom. All right, so now we're now we're just being we're just being racist. My dad just got asked to do pe- People's Court, by the way. 
with Judge really? uh, Millennium. Oh, Millian. about his thing? I call Judge Bullion. He <laughs> Christina gets paid. Millian? You, doesn't he get paid he either get way? Paid, but he goes, my reputation. I go, you don't got no you don't reputation. You got no fucking reputation. Chicken Milanese? Chicken Milanese. <laughs> Judge Moulinian, whatever. Oh my god, I don't think you're allowed to say. I feel like Dante might be able to say that. You, I don't think you can say that. Chicken Moulinian. Yeah. Chicken (laughs) Moulinian. Chicken Moulinian. That's that's eggplant. (laughs) Eggplant. Chicken Moulinian is fried chicken, my friend. Oh, it is. Well, no, I I mean, kind of. (laughs) Some people might say that. I'm not allowed to say that. Did I just get canceled in Italy? Is that what I did? Yeah, you did. Oh boy. Uh, we're, in, when, we're in Jersey. Listen, but. when the political correctness movement hits Italy in Tell 2057. Tell your dad to get paid. He'll get paid. Boy, him, what's going on with my your dad? Reputation, he's, he, I think he missed a wedding gig that he was supposed to do by mistake. Is your dad a wedding DJ? Oh, no, he's a wedding videographer. Oh, he God, I not, wish he was a wedding cool DJ. As, I wish he was a wedding DJ, too. <laughs> but he wasn't. Instead, I could be was, one of the hype dancers. That's what That was like my dream job. You know, to be a hype to dancer. go bar mitzvah to bar mitzvah? It was, a, well, I mean, in my neighborhood, it was Sweet 16 to Sweet 16. Oh, yeah. okay. And this is the dance. Oh, dancer. so they want to sue him. That's, sue him. Yeah, that's yeah. what's... Oh, yeah. yeah, man. I don't know if I would do that. They are suing him. Oh, they're suing him anyway. Okay, so he yeah. should do it, though, because you know I what? The they pay it. They pay it. I Even agree. if you lose, they pay it. I agree, but his, apparently his And reputation. also, maybe he could plug the podcast. Yeah. That's true. I would. Do you uh, think he could wear a, a man, man school, school 2 He t-shirt? absolutely could. Just I'll get him a jacket <laughs> and put the logo on the back. They're going to be like, sir, can you take your jacket off before we start I cannot... I cannot, I will not do it. I'm not guilty. I love this. But anyway, I'm sorry, that's a side. I'm going to try to convince him to do the people's No, tell him to do it. I think they fly you out to L.A., right? No, I think they're doing it in uh, via Zoom right now for some reason. Oh, that's even better. You don't even have to travel. Oh, so he could do that. Anyway, that was just Italian. He could do it from the studio now. Give me the the keyboard. You you... The no, you uh, just never you know put what? it in right. You could do he if they're doing it from Zoom. Make his Zoom background an ad for the podcast. That's true too. I'd be like, oh, I don't know. This is just my wall. Tracy, do you, you don't think it? they figure that out by now on the People's Court <laughs> that they know that people are going to try that. Everyone has their Instagram handle. Yeah, they they know how to do that. So but, now, Harry, were you aware that she called me? You didn't know she called me. At what point did you call Dante? Uh, in the bathtub. I think I was in the bathtub. Was I in the bathtub? You didn't even tell me. I, I think you heard the splashing. I would have. If I would have, I would have said something. I definitely called you from the bathtub before. Nothing like a little clean fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> on FaceTime. Am I right? Yeah. Why not? Dante insists on it. I do this with everybody. <laughs> you don't I have a sausage. Eye contact. I give, <laughs> I I give, eye contact. Yeah, I give better advice when you uh, have no clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a sausage in that water so swimming around, <laughs> huh? So, so, uh, so she called. When did you call Dante? Well, I did. I did not know this. This is what I mean. This is what. I mean, this is why you don't talk to times. me anymore. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna <laughs> call you every no, day. No, no, the no. The number of missed calls, by the way. Not talking to you, by the way. Just just to throw this out there, Dante's not including the times I call him up. He goes, "Yo, dog, I'm 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 on with the bank. I'll be right back." And then I don't hear for him for 15 oh, days. That's true. Yeah. Well, something or, bad happens. He's or, right. Or he's the right. number of times he goes, "Hey, hold on one second. He puts me on hold, and then I just then I, that's it. we both forget. I'm like fixing. But you know, he a, does a it to me too. You fix shelves? I never leave you on as long as wait, you wait, wait, No, wait. but you do, you'll be like, yo, I'm, I'm right again in such and such. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go, yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, not, it's not like, you know what I mean? Right. Let's not make it like it's hostile. Yeah, like, I'm great it's not hostile. I, I love, Very good communicators. We, no, I love talking to Dante. You fix, I'll fix that. Don't you, you fix worry. shelves you and stuff? Like, you day. do housework? I like do that? housework, yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> that is very nice. See, that's uh, I speak Tracy a little Tracy, bit. Tracy, I do shelves. Do you do sheetrock? I can. It's, I, you we choose would, not to. It's not but worth I would, the effort. I would hire. But, yeah. for, uh-huh. Like, if you needed yeah. sheetrock, I'd... But you know how. I could do it, yeah. But it's it just hard. would take... You know, like, yeah. if you hire a dude that does... Sure. Like, this is an old thing, an old time. A drywall kind of guy, yeah. He said, he said to me, do what you do. Yeah. You take... You tell jokes, tell your jokes, right. pay a guy to do sheetrock. If you mm. specialize in everything, you specialize in, in nothing. nothing. Now, there's two... Oh, there, there you go. Now, there's two reasons, Tracy. It's either, oh, so you know how to fix holes in the wall. That's one it's, way. It's uh, mostly doorknobs. Mostly doorknobs. <laughs> doorknobs, I know yeah, how to fix. I don't yeah. have them anymore. I could fix those. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or, we Tracy, have, we, we need to help Tracy. Uh, you know, I was just always trying to close the door and just, uh, you know, just uh, be alone. <laughs> And then, and no, then somebody so didn't much. want that, not so they so were pulling on the, the other knobs. end of the doorknob. Uh, not took them, but just uh, forced 
forced uh, the doorknob would rip them. Oh, yeah. And in an apartment, maybe they're not the best yeah. doorknobs. So right. they're very good. Perhaps doorknobs. Are, they're uh, actually very good. Doorknobs. They're very good doorknobs. Very but good. the only time this guy ever used his strength apparently was to rip the yes. doorknobs. Never to fix. Never anything. to do a sheetrock. <laughs> never to do never sheetrock or pick rock. up plates. But when no. it came to doorknobs, he was Andre the Giant. He Lots was, of doorknobs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Everything's this good. Ter- <laughs> so, this is the uh, thing, I love Tracy, so much. We this, got- is, this bothers me because Tracy's <sighs> very sweet and deserves better. Thank you. But, but she, the problem she, she, now. Tracy's biggest it, enemy is Tracy Carnazzo. Yeah, the, I was just going to say that the problem with Tracy. It's Tracy. Doesn't I unproblemed believe. myself. It's she doesn't like we gotta, believe. We got to pimp I her relationship. It now. She does not. Be- she has in the past. She has not believed that she deserved better. Yeah. And so she constantly. And this is something that I say all the time. You, you, you. Look, if you get, if there's an abusive situation yeah. or an unhappy situation, somebody victimizes you. Yeah. They can only victimize you once. Right. I, the I, second time you're signing up for it. Yes. This is where the self-aware uh, went out the window a little bit. And I wasn't sure what was happening. You know, when your uh, entire house is on fire, mm-hmm. I don't know where the fire is coming from anymore. I just feel hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't really know. Yeah, I think that's what. But I do you believe know you it now. You can see the fire. No, sometimes. you can't see No, anything. you can't. Lots you, of smoke. You, 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 <laughs> No, you can, very, you can see, you can I see. can't see anything. No, I, not no. Tracy. I just felt like I couldn't <laughs> wow. breathe. But everything was fine. But it's fine. Yeah. And you just made a nice, uh, a nice parmesan, chicken parmesan. Uh, the Maybe racist nice. stuff about Italian, it's like really just hurting my feelings. Yeah, it's not I don't buy that at all. I don't buy that at it's, all. It's, it's making it. me hungry. First of all, <laughs> Tracy like, is Italian legendary. Her food yeah. is le- like. Yeah, it brings the boys to the yard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. JC will. My boy Reggie used to do this thing where he had. To, he was this chick was. Um, yeah, the turkey lady, the roast lady. Yes. Yeah. She yeah, would yeah. cook everything. Yeah. She would go like, I got turkey. I'm gonna tell your cousin. You made it to I'm turkey. cooking. <laughs> I got a turkey and I did some baked ham. <laughs> I did a London broil, some meatloaf and some hot links, macaroni and cheese, <laughs> some uh, garlic string beans and stuffing. <laughs> Candy yams. It was Thanksgiving every day. No, it, she, it was like is it, is it, March. I was like, is it? It's Tuesday. Yeah. And I'm trying to get your, your your cousin here, and he would go over there. She would feed him, and then soon he she would go to he would go to sleep. She would take his clothes. Yeah. And then wash his clothes, and then somehow the dryer well, just bro, wasn't that's, working. That's uh, sexual assault. <laughs> is that really? I'm just throwing that out there. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. I, I guess if a dude did that. Yeah, it would not be great. You'd be like. Oh, you're going to wash my clothes? Oh, I can't have them back? No, it's yeah. still wet. I won't have you yeah. leave oh, in damp you. clothes. I will wrap myself in a blanket and run into the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or stay and eat. Probably back not. Then it was no. just no. good, clean fun, apparently. Yeah. And women do it. It's good, clean yeah. fun. That's great. Um, <laughs> but, so, Shout yeah. out to Bottles and James oh, Wine geez. Coolers. <laughs> Did you say Bartles and James? Bartles. Oh, Bartles. I, I liked it better you when know I thought Bartles? you said Bartles. I know Bartles. Bartles and James. Yeah. Uh, j- this Only one. comes in four packs. Oh, jeez. That's, that's right. all you needed. Yeah, that's but you could switch need. the flavors. <laughs> that's true. You can do it. It depends on what bodega you're yeah. at. Oh, okay. Unless yeah. you're at with a real yeah, asshole. Yeah. <laughs> no switching. Yeah. No, 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 and you're like, I didn't. You. I didn't. It just came like this. It, it just came with one raspberry. In my grocery store, there's a sign by the eggs, and it says, no switching eggs. We're watching. We're and watching. I'm like, who is watch? Who's first of all, who's switching eggs? Second if of all, they're cracked. I guess you would switch the. How eggs. about just get a different container? There's four million uh, mm. cartons of eggs. Not in my bodega. There's only no, two. No, no. This is a grocery store. This is a grocery. There's store? like a full you said supermarket. Bodega. Bodega. There's only two right. cartons. dozen eggs. In yeah. my yeah. grocery Left store, or right. Though, that's yeah. what the sign says, and it makes me so paranoid. To well, you want to know what section. happened? I do want to know what happened because they didn't put that up. That's not at every. I'm going place. in there. Tell me where I'm going to switch. I'm going to take pictures. Maybe I'll Facetime you guys. We can go in together. It's, nice. I'm going in there. I'm going with a bullhorn. I'm switching motherfucking <laughs> eggs. What are you going to do about it? Who's watching? Who's watching? I got a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, so this you were unaware. I was unaware that Tracy had contacted so you. When Tracy, was this? when did we talk? About a week, week ago, two weeks ago, probably like two months ago. But yeah, yeah, kind of been two it was months. a while ago. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was a while ago. It was probably uh, at least six weeks ago. This is what I'm talking about. Dante does not have There's good no, sense of time. Whatever. It was yesterday. We've and yo, we're we're hours on the phone every day. Of, in my defense, yeah. I don't really fuck with time, yo. <laughs> 
I don't, I don't believe in it. Right. No, I know. I get it. I don't believe it. Oh, <laughs> Ky- Kyrie Irving's next statement. That is not That is not far off from anything Kyrie Irving would say. Yeah, I don't believe in that I'm either. Not in the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just not and even Aaron Rodgers is going to say, I believe in time, but he don't have a watch. Yeah. Right. That dude. <laughs> So uh, he, she called you up. What did she, she ask you? She called me and she See, called this I was me. Unaware of. She called me Not just to matter. thank me, really. I did. She called me just to say you were right about everything. Yes, for uh, all the years. All the years that you've been years telling down the me. Road. I was laying in the bathtub, and every conversation we like ever that. had for the last like five that. years came rushing back to me. Yeah. And I remember us standing uh, in a comedy club, and I was like, hey, let me just run this by you. Is this weird? And you're like, oh, that's very not good. Tracy, this is very not good. And I was like, ah, I think it's fine. <laughs> and then you I don't remember what you said. I, 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 I think it was that he wouldn't acknowledge that we were together. Oh. And you were like, oh, that's not a great sign. No. And that's... I was like, I think he's just shy. <laughs> you did say <laughs> yeah. Tracy He's has her shy. inner her inner justifying voice is the same as a mother justifying her child mm-hmm. who has like been arrested. My yes. pops used to do that yes. when I would get fucked up grades though. Yeah. You come from a great family and husband right. with a father and a mother. Of course they're gonna you come in with cologne on and <laughs> I used to say wear my father's brute by Fabergé. Come in clean and smelling good and these teachers they're jealous of you. They're jealous. And I was like yeah, that's why I didn't do my math homework. <laughs> you're right. What you're I, right, Pops. You are right, Pops. They are jealous of you. They're jealous of you because you're my father's in the same house as me. That's what it is. I get it. What are you going to yeah. do? Yeah, so I, I, it all came rushing back to me, and then uh, I decided that this was no longer working for me. And I was after five years. Five years. years. Five uh-huh. years later, it was not working for better me. Than, you worked better, it better out. late than never. <laughs> I'm glad you worked it, it just, out. just, you know, I was I mean, bu- everything at, a, was at your own pace. You got to, everybody's got to do You don't want to so rush busy. into these decisions, Dante. Right. You know, sometimes right. you got to take four or five years to, the exit it's strategy. What I hate when people say, uh, you know, everybody it was only learn for- at their own time. No. Yeah. That's, no. That's true. No. I didn't, it didn't work for that's me not, for a while. That's not true. You you Tracy. can you can listen to other people's sure. advice. You can follow their lead mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they know more than you. Sure. You don't have to reinvent algebra every time you want to do math. You yeah, can but, just learn it. Or you could stay in a relationship for five years. Sure. Right, Tracy. but I left him uh, four years after he cheated on me for the first time so that I found out go. about. There you go. No, four I'm years. lying to you. You're that lying. was like the third or fourth time he cheated. But. Yeah. That's neither here nor there. Her relationship was like the withdrawal from now, Afghanistan. Wait. Did he really? Did he have 100%. sex? One hundred percent. I don't know because it's like, does he like women? I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. And listen, God bless. You know what I mean? I think that that's the absolute best case scenario for me. Is that he is that he like would be if I was married, right? Say I'm like married twenty years, right? And mm-hmm. I love my husband so much, and he's sure. like, hey, listen, I'm gay. I'd be like, oh, that has nothing to do with me. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, you that's still fine. Stay that married? Has, you, no, you but if he goes, you if he yeah. goes, I'm fucking everybody, just right. not you. Just not exactly. You. I'm Thank definitely you. into chicks. Yes. Just, Whoa, you don't even know. You, you don't see, even know. Do you, do you see like how it hurts different? Super. Yes, I can <laughs> see that. Super into chicks. Right. This guy, nothing yeah. but chicks. Love, love, love. You know who chicks. loves the chicks? This guy this, with two thumbs. He's got two thumbs <laughs> and loves not chicks, you. except for you. This guy. Yeah. Um, no, I don't know if there was sex. I definitely know that there were a few. Mouth kissing. Uh, there were dates. He took his coworker on a date. What a mm. sweet girl. Um, Mouth kissing, as opposed to uh, on a cheek, private kissing. Right. Private. I don't listen. I don't know where he was kissing. <laughs> Maybe I know that there butt was, kissing. I have the, the thing is, I I mm. went through a few weeks ago. I went through all of my uh, screenshots in my phone. This is where it went all downhill. Must be a hell of a folder. <laughs> And the screenshot, I was like, oh, remember when he cheated on me with her? Oh, yeah, those those are the text. Oh, remember when he cheated on me with her? Oh, my God, remember when he cheated on me and then he told comics? And then I have the screenshots of him telling the comics and bragging about cheating on me? Mm. Oh, man, remember when he never paid me rent? Mm. Oh, I have the screenshots of me begging him for $40 a week. Oh, yeah, Jesus. and it's like, ouch. But everything's good now, though. Like, I feel... <laughs> Probably not. No, I do. I got to tell you, I feel so much better. Yeah, well, we knew that. You should, yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, I didn't was... know that, though, but I didn't know it. As much as you, you guys didn't told me. what? I didn't know it. That you would feel I... better yeah. about this? I didn't. Jeez. Oh, I thought it was just going to get What about the time we said you will feel so much better? I didn't believe you. Oh, okay. Because we had broken up two so you times we, before I was that. Just, I was just lying to you. I was it's just... not that I was, you were just lying. It's just that 
I am very different from everyone. See, this is my you're special. No, no, okay, you're but not. I have a superiority complex, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that she's my... saying that sarcastically. Like I'm not. Someone. I'm really not. Like, oh, if I had boy. a child, this withdrawn. is what I always say. Emotional if I had withdrawn. a child, mm -hmm. I would let everyone know about the the birth of my child, and I would talk like no one's ever birthed a child before and mm -hmm. I did the best job ever mm -hmm. like because that's how I feel sometimes so I feel like my pain like you guys could never feel pain the way I feel pain mm. ever because mm. like and my pain say, is so much worse when you say that you don't go what the f in your mind when you yeah. hear that out loud you don't go what the fuck am I talking about sure but that's where I'm self-aware but not well ah uh, so you just Make it okay. You yeah. Just make it all okay. Right. But now I feel very good. Now I believe you guys. Now I actually do believe that I deserve better. Where I used to tell you it, like, oh, I know, I know I deserve better, but I didn't feel it, and now I feel mm. it. You don't believe it. What made I believe you it. believe it? Okay, so, long story short, uh, there was a documentary that Vice did on me, and uh, it was about my OCD. And this was before COVID ever hit. Mm, okay. um, so they did this, uh, and then it came out during COVID. And uh, all of the comments on the video were like, oh, man, she's fat. And it wasn't about that. It was just about uh, COVID. Uh, you know, about germs. Right. And everyone's like, oh, she's fat. She's a pig. She's fat. And it's like, oh, hello. Does anyone want to make fun of my OCD? <laughs> they no, don't even no one did. They did not even watch the they video. They just ignored that. They probably watched it on mute. And they're like, oh, this girl's fat. And I felt not good. Okay. Not good. That wouldn't make you feel like... Did not feel that good. Not when feel millions good. of people are calling you I don't know, fat. Like, I don't like how you're explaining that to me. Like, <laughs> just so you know, didn't feel good. Did not feel... I did not feel <laughs> You'd well. You'd be surprised. It did not So I didn't my, know what to do. I reached out to some friends, um, and I got connected with this woman who is a uh, weight-neutral health coach. And she Wait, pre explain that uh, body positivity. Okay, kind of just like you know horseshit. All right. It's not horseshit though right. because it's it's therapy. It's self esteem shit. Yeah, it's, but it has nothing to do listen, with that. Look. Intuitive eating, yada yada yada. So I uh, intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is like basically that diet culture is killing us all because we're dieting. We're gaining more weight after we go off a diet. Uh, it's just you know cyclical. It's a, it's it's a cyclical terribly thing. cyclical. And then uh, yeah, there's a lot with that. You're also battling the FDA and what is allowed in foods that yeah. shouldn't be allowed. So there's in a foods, whole yeah. thing around that. Uh, sure. Intuitive eating. Correct. There's a book. Obviously, it's more complex than what I'm telling you. But like you eat uh, until you're full, and then you just uh, don't don't eat anymore. Anymore. You kind of like listen to your body instead right, of being right. like, you know, all right, well, you know, this is how many Weight Watchers points and I have to eat three slices of turkey and like mm. 12 beans. And then I'm like, oh, now does that work even... that you just eat till you're full? And, and yes. Then, OK. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, if you do it correctly. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's like teaching you how to be a person mm -hmm. like. Oh, right. And not using food for all these other yeah. things. Yeah, just like do Fair stuff. Right. Eat, all, eat what you want. But here's, here's what I, you know. But I but it was more of the self-esteem issues that she worked on with me. It wasn't so much that. Right. Um, and I think through that I realized, like, wow, he's a terrible person, and that has nothing to do with me. Absolutely mm -hmm. correct. Yeah. But I never thought that. I always thought, like, okay, well, he's not nice to me because I'm overweight. You know, he's not nice to me because I'm fat. He's not. You like, thought I don't, that. Absolutely. 100%. Was that a cognitive thought in your head? Very or? much. Okay. Well, because people in day-to-day -day society aren't necessarily nice to you when you're overweight or yeah. they're less polite. For sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. people are not nice to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People are not nice to me all the time. Sure. It's, but it's because they're dickheads. Right. But I it mean, has nothing to do with you. It has to do with the way they it treat It has people. to do with other people. Sure. Right. Yeah. Without a doubt. But without it's a still. Doubt. It's still. But is, it's there I'm, from a. Yeah, from a weight standpoint, it is there. You do notice the kind of the different way people treat you or whatever. Yeah, a little bit here and there. Everybody. That's everybody. That's gonna be everybody. Yeah. That's right. everybody in the in the. Listen, if you're a skinny, pretty little girl, then people expect you to be confident, and you have these insecurities, and you're not allowed to say you're right. You're but that's almost like I will. I'm gonna argue with you on that. That's almost like saying like, um, you know, well. Everyone's discriminated against. That's a little all lives mattery. Okay, from fair you. enough. But I'm saying you you have. I mean, everybody, everybody has a thing. There, sure. There's a thing 
But and the way that they are affected by it is based on their own self-image and how they they deal with their personal. Self. Okay. But to to I, I totally understand what you mean. But there is a fat shaming yeah. kind of yeah, absolutely. Of and there's also there the real treatment. So what I think what I'm, she's getting at, which I kind of agree with, is sometimes you you deal with that in other aspects. Yeah. So you think like she was saying that oh the reason he doesn't like me is because I'm mm-hmm. overweight because these other people comedy bookers and agents right. and things like that who also let you know that you're overweight. Well, I mean, society lets yeah, you know that this is not unacceptable. But... I mean, everyone, you, you look at a fat person, you're like, well, what are you doing about it? Mm-hmm. Instead of being like, oh, I think she's okay. And then right. you got somebody, you got people who are pieces of garbage. Shout right. out to Jeff Singer, who oh, yeah, yeah. people go, oh, he's fine. And he's right. a dirtbag, 100%. I mean, my dirtbag. ex used to let me know that he thought I was fat. But yeah. the and the weird thing was it was like I was this weight when you met me. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. I didn't gain didn't 100 grasp. pounds. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just like kind of confused. How did you why did we even do why this? Why did this turn? Yeah, right. Why are you here? Well, initially when he pers- did he pursue you initially? He did. And what was his take on that when you when he was pursuing you, like, what was his attitude towards? Oh, he was it? very, he was nice to me when he was pursuing me. It's as soon as he got in that he was like, you know, this is a secret. We can't tell anyone. We but can't. you do understand why that is. Do you understand why that is? Tell me why. It's because his own, it's his own, whenever you get a situation, I've seen this hundreds of times. Mm. A guy will pursue a woman on mm. a level where she will literally, he will do everything for her, like I mean, I don't know about take, all that, but I mean, he'll take out all stops to get you. Right, whatever he, he it takes took out to no get. stops, but and, he was and, nice. And uh, <laughs> he did the bare minimum. He literally you, did the bare minimum. And you were in a position where that's all yeah, you required was exactly. The, but you were a minimum is, wage pickup. I was. Yeah. But here's here's the thing about any of this. Regardless, is that though, in the situation where you get guys who pursue, 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 uh-huh. and then when you go, okay, I'll. I, I like you. I'm going to give you this chance. What you're really saying to them is that you're good enough. Yeah. Right? But they already feel as though they're not good enough. Right. And so the fact that you think that they're worthy when they don't think that they're worthy, then ultimately, if if I know that I'm not, if I know I ain't shit, mm-hmm. and you like me even though I know that I'm shit, I'm not shit, what it, what in essence, what... He says in his mind, he has to quantify that, which is there must be something wrong with you. Oh, there was. Because, (laughs) well, there's something wrong with you because you like me. But I'm saying this is before the abuse and all that stuff. Yeah, but he's absolutely correct. There was absolutely something wrong with me that I liked him. Right. He was correct. And so he goes, but then the abuse starts to happen towards you. That doesn't necessarily have to be the case. But it was the case. It was the case. But the problem is... Even if it's not the case, that's still the... The problem is also, it's not even, that's not even the point. The point is, this is an internal judgment of value that he's making on himself. Yeah. And the fact that you like him makes you, makes you go, it makes him go, hey, I know I ain't shit. Um... You think I'm worthy, right. therefore there's something wrong with you, yeah. and therefore now you must be, you must have less value than me because you right. haven't, you you haven't even recognized that I'm not shit. And the reason why most of the time the people don't think they're shit, it comes from their, a lot of times it comes from their parents. They sure. they haven't lifted them up and shown them that there there is that what their value is and they, they go with this low self esteem. They pursue you with the vigor of trying to get you because if I just get this person who I think is better than me and then when they like you they go, Oh, you liked me. Right. I didn't think I would I thought you were better this. than that. <laughs> you're you're better you're better than that. Exactly. I um I think that a lot of it comes from past relationships. I mean I had a very long line of men that disrespected me. But that's on me, though, and I do see that now. Like now but that you, I'm out you of it. also understand it. Like when you we were talking before, you were talking about the your mom being delusional and not really. Yeah, but I think that that's an Italian mother kind of thing. Yeah, it's like everything's fine, everything's fine, everything's fine. Yeah, but fine. you can't. You, you you don't. I picked up on it for sure. Yeah, but the, but I don't don't go. It's an Italian mother thing. Do you know what I mean? It, I get it, but it is kind of I like I get it the culturally. Way. Yeah, I culturally, get it culturally. It is the way, like, you don't talk about anything that's wrong. You I kind counsel of sweep it under. a lot of Indian dudes. Right. They have a, they, Indian dudes have some of the roughest time with women because, first of all, they're culturally, they don't respect women. Sure. 
Secondly, when they start to 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 they're in America, where you just can't have your mother set you up and then beat your wife till right. you that's so nice yeah. <laughs> beat your wife in the submission. Then and you actually have to have a personality. Then they they can't right. So so they don't really learn the 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 social dynamics of things, and it's and it's a very immigrant kind of way. Also, you find this problem with immigrants in general, all immigrants. Immigrants that come to this country a lot of time are on survival mode. Sure. There's no real self-actualization of of your happiness. I mean, this is a fairly new concept. Sure. My dad was born in 1920 during Jim Crow. Like, so how does he become a highly progressive individual? Right, it's kind of like, hey, are you alive? Then good. Yeah, That's, as long right. as you didn't die... And like motherfucker, right. I'm drinking from separate water fountains, uh, and you want right. and you want to you want to be an artist. It's like the you want to juggle. What that, the fuck? That yeah. story that they say I walked, uh, you know, I walked to school uphill both ways. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, with no shoes. Exactly during yeah. a snowstorm. Yeah, during a snowstorm. <laughs> Even in the summer. Twelve miles. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, I get that. Um, I am, I am learning that I cannot do that anymore. But I think I cracked the code. I have it all figured out. Uh, you heard it here first. Oh, you f- figured it out. I, I cracked the out. code. I, I'm, I'm going to hate when Tracy does her relationship uh, mm. podcast. Woman School 303. <laughs> and then she's on the Wendy Williams show with her book. How she's to... going to call it Gas School. Yeah, Gas School. <laughs> I like that. 303. Very specific. Um, I, I think you have to also, um, you have to have a, a a philosophy behind it like a principle behind yeah. it because once you have a once you have a like uh, i always say that a, your principles and your philosophy behind your life is sort of like it's like you it's like if you buy a, a i don't know uh for lack of a better like your dvd player mm-hmm. the directions now we all know how to set the clock pretty much you hold a button maybe you hold it for 5 seconds maybe click and fight whatever the fuck it is but each each directions has specific directions to do certain mm-hmm. things that you can't do unless you read the directions and when you have a philosophy you can always refer back to those same things to kind of test am i along the line so one of the things that i say uh is is you know that we use ace which is authenticity credibility tell the truth say what you mean mean what you say and give a fuck about what other people think so um, it's interesting because I, um, I've had, you know, like, I, uh, I, I was talking about this the last show. I, didn't, I talked about it a little bit, but so I, I sent my wife to England with the baby and then she decided she didn't want to come back. Oh dear. Yeah. So wow. I should probably shouldn't have started that now. Yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah, sorry, but she, but... she, she decided she didn't want to come back. Is she from England? Yes, she's yes. from England. Okay. Yeah, that makes, that makes more, more sense. More so sense. she was, yeah, she yeah. was literally like, um, her. She didn't really make many friends when she was here, and then it became this whole thing about socialization and so. On. But it wasn't that. It, it was a validation, in my opinion. It was a validation from friends who she had, who, who thought of her highly at the time when they were young and you know like in the and so now she has you know she she missed that 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 kind of friendship validation and what you understand at 50 years old is you don't you don't you don't have 20 there's no such thing as having 20 friends they're not your friends Mm -hmm. and as time goes on and life goes on the your the context of what you perceive friendship in and people move on and they, they move out of your life and everybody has their own life that they're living. Then they're, they're not happy that you're here. That all that shine wears off. So I've had a lot of people who, who fans of mine who basically said, um, man, you, you've helped so many dudes. You helped so many people. You deserve better. Um, and just when I think, you know, you could learn everything, you know, you end up in this shitty situation sure. where you're separated from your son. And one of the things that I say is having the principle and the philosophy doesn't stop bad things from happening. Sure. Mm, what it yeah. does do is it helps you 
recover to and cope, adapt, mm -hmm. adapt, and yeah. understand yeah. it, yeah. and then not take it really personal sure. about what it is. And so, as as long yeah. as I go back to truth and credibility, know that I've done everything that I could do. Know that I was kind and generous and civil, and that I was a good husband and a good father. You can't, Absolutely. you yeah. can't degrade me. Sure. So when you start saying like. I was told uh, you don't you didn't do anything for us, but you can't really walk around in London with a with an eight hundred dollar stroller, right? And then go. If you didn't do anything. Right. I feel like Harry should have picked the phone up. Uh, I did, <laughs> but he wasn't calling anyone. Well. I, I picked up. You, first you of missed all, a lot. First of all, he didn't, I, I'm just telling him this. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I do. I do pick He's up. He's like, the I phone. did. I missed uh, 400 of your calls no, this week. Well, true. he he actually helped because it was so much. There was so much luggage. He had to help me bring yeah, the luggage. Yeah. Right. And he even said to me, "I, I don't. Why? I don't think she's why is she taking? I don't think she's yeah. coming back." I literally did. I go, bro. This is heavy shit. Yeah. I mean, I I was lift. I know what heavy clothing is. It was yeah, five hundred dollars overweight for the right. for the yeah. stuff. It was just gold bars. But I said, my, what did yeah. I say to him? I said, what did I say to you? I said, I said, I'm not willing to hold her hostage. Yeah, yeah of course. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You if this is what yeah. if she does, if she goes, she goes. I can't. But this is the fucking with me is the best deal you're ever gonna get. Yeah. Right. Like I'm, uh, especially the fact that you have my child. I'm uh you this is you are going to experience the greatest yeah. access of resources that you ever kindness and resources that you ever could and I know that because there's an a, there's an active part that I play in that it's very very thought out like so even when this happened and I've mentioned it to people everybody wants to give me advice and I go you you have no idea that I've thought I've looked at this. I've already done that. I've, I've already done that. A hundred right. different angles. Right, but see, you're in a situation where, like, you know, you're married, you have a kid. Like, I feel like that's like a complicated situation. That like I, I it's don't, really not. It's there's more on the line. It's really I say, not. Hold on, prince, I would say this: you tolerated more than you would have if it, there was no kid. Which was, I, yeah. which was, which was, which was the emotional said. part of it. And, right. and but let's it's not just emotional. You it, have a son. You have no, to be but responsible. it was, it was emotional, and I'll tell you why. Huh? Okay. We say this so back to the same principles. Uh -huh. Like we have worked these principles out so extensively that it it's foolproof. Right. Yeah. Like it, so, what do we say? About emotions. Never make decisions based on emotions. Give you never make a good decision on emotion. At you very can't. best, you will get lucky. Can't let emotion have a seat at the table. Can't let emotion have. No. So here's this, because of my son, because he, this little dude looks like me and he's part of me, I was making decisions out of emotion. I was being tolerant. I wasn't sure. more tolerant than I would. And I'm still pretty clear about the boundaries but i definitely bound harry would even say yeah. bent my boundaries that i was yeah whereas if i had followed the principles so i'm even susceptible in full transparency one of the things that i think why the why the my fans follow me is because there is full transparency yeah. everything that i've learned through my own mistakes i'm teaching them this is what i went yeah. through and, this is, and if i had if i had the if I had followed the principles, removed the emotion, the 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 actions would have been able. Her actions would have been easier to interpret, and I would have made different decisions the whole time. I get that. And if you don't, you end up mm. sure and, shitty. And I think that what I've taken from you is, you know, what you've talked about, like as far as the non-negotiables and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really looking to date right now. I'm kind of just hanging. Um, I guess if something comes along, then I would consider it. But at the same time, like I am not, uh, I guess, desperate. Right. So I don't feel that no. like, you know, ache, like, you know, if I, you and I are talking and then you never call me again, like, you know, maybe right. in the past that would have hurt my feelings. And now I'm like, oh, I literally don't care. And it, it takes away so much power from men for me that, you know, I don't care. I mean, eventually I hope that I meet someone that I care about. But as far as like, uh, interactions with like guys on online dating. I mean, the the first time you say something that turns me off, like I'm just not going to talk to you anymore. Right, I don't right, care. Right. Uh, you know, a lot of women my age, a lot of my friends, they're online dating and they get upset. They get ghosted, mm. and I'm like, it's a stranger from the internet. 
But the reason why they why, why are you why are you talking to someone enough to develop a connection with them before you've met them? Because they've already given these people the power right. of giving them this validation. Right, and that's what so I, it's, I don't feel that anymore. Well, and that's good. Uh, let's let's um. Let's go the, over to Patreon. Yeah, we're gonna go to Patreon. It's just keep talking about. Uh, we're gonna talk stuff. about dig into this deep. And, and also, a lot of the. I think we talked a lot more about the. If you guys want to hear about a little more detail, what went down with the marriage and the baby, we mm. did talk. I think a lot more on the Patreon. A little bit. Little bit. We talked a little bit more on the live show about it, yeah, but yeah. a lot of that was on the Patreon. So right, right. That's uh, go to patreon.com slash manschool. And I got a lot too. of guys who hit me up in a po- that just apology. Yeah, and man, I'm sorry like, hey, you did this. They just Dante hit me up is, out hope poor. He's doing well. Well, but I'm yeah. doing, I'm I'm actually doing well. I mean, no, not to say I don't miss my son, but I don't. But let's let's do this. Plug your stuff, right. and then we'll go on into the Patreon. Well, I appreciate that. You guys need to follow me on Instagram, on TikTok. And on Twitter at Trixie Tuzini, T-R-I-X-I-E-T-U-Z-Z-I-N-I. I have three podcasts right now. All Trash Talk, uh, Reality TV. I have 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk, Teen Mom Trash Talk, and Catfish Trash Talk. But you can follow me uh, on social media and find out about all that stuff. Cool. Harry. Yes. Uh, all my stuff, follow my social media as well, at Harry Turjanian. That's where all my stuff is going to be. Follow me on the gram. Uh one-on-one consultations. Y'all know how to get it. DanteNero.com. Click on consult. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. And I am excited. I appreciate y'all. Yo, I love y'all. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow us on uh, on YouTube, Instagram, all that good shit. Thank you. Thank you. I love y'all, man. I love y'all for the support, too. Let's go behind the Patreon and get it in. Later. We are out. Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero, hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson, produced by Harry Turjanian, executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.